Hi, welcome. This is Hydro Rex. Today we have a Hydro Rex test card from the TC series, uh, which includes chart recorder and a liquid uh, reservoir. This is a custom model for a customer. We also have a standard model. This is a 10,000 PSI max pressure test card with a one liter per minute flow rate. This test card has an air driven liquid pump with a 20 gallon reservoir tank, which can be used for water, hydraulic fluid, or any liquid or fluid that the customer requires. It also comes in different sizes. It can be from one to 20 gallons, just depending on your quantity of gallons required. In this test card, we have a heavy industrial removable chart recorder. In this case, this is a 10,000 PSI max pressure chart recorder. This equipment is designed to replace the chart recorder from a lower pressure to a higher pressure, ranging from 500 PSI to 30,000 PSI. Okay, in this cart, we have our air inlet on the right hand side. In the front side of the panel, we have our air supply, which you can open and close to enter the air. Next, we have the air regulator, which will regulate your air towards your pressure. We have a pressure regulated air gauge that shows you your inlet on air. We have a return and bleed valve to return your pressure once your pressure is, is, is reached and your test is complete. The isolation valve. Isolation valve you open and close to let pressure in and close pressure. And your discharge pressure gauge which shows your pressure. On the left hand side, we have our output pressure port and our relief pressure return port. In this test cart, we have a reservoir tank. If you wish to return your fluid back to the tank, this is your ball valve to open and it will return back your fluid into the tank. If you wish to release the pressure out the test cart, close this valve and release from your port. If you're using standard water and you wish to fill up your system faster, this option here is uh, to use your external hose or water hose uh, to fill up your system faster and then use your tank to build up pressure. We will be doing a sample test up to 8,000 PSI. Now we're gonna continue with the test. Now we're, uh, we're gonna use this hose as an example, but you can use, you can test hoses, pipes, uh, vessels, etc. Whichever your customer or yourself is gonna be testing. Before starting any test and connecting your air hose, make sure all your valves are closed. Air supply, closed. Regulator, closed. Isolation valve, closed. Return and bleed valve, closed. Now we have the air supply uh, connected. Always make sure that your gauge or your external supply supports at least 100 PSI of uh, air pressure. Here we have a, a relief valve that we're gonna be using to, to relieve our pressure, to purge our system first. First step is to open your isolation valve so you can give access to your outlet port and fill up your system. Second step is to open your air supply. Then you open your regulator slowly. You can hear the pump stroking. This case here shows the air the pump is consuming. Now we're purging the system. Once you see a steady stream or you know that your system is purged and has no air in it, shut down your, your pump. Come back to your relief valve, shut it off, and you're ready to start pressure. Before starting your test, I recommend to return your regulator all the way back, then open your air supply and slowly bring it back up. You can see that we're at 3,000 PSI now with 35 PSI of air pressure. 
We're gonna let it sit for a couple of seconds, make sure it stabilizes, and then we'll go back up. After we let it sit for a couple of seconds and reach a stabilization, we're gonna bring it back up to 6,000 now. Now we see that we consume at least 70 PSI of air pressure and we're at 6,000. We're gonna let it sit for a couple of seconds, make sure that uh, we have no leak with our chart recorder. If, if we have a leak, it'll show a drop on it. And if we do have a leak and a drop, then we'll shut down the system, relieve our pressure and fix. After our 6,000 step elastation, we're gonna bring it back up to 8,000 which is our desired pressure. Which consume at least 80 to 85 PSI of air pressure. So we've reached our desired pressure now. Our next step is to close our isolation valve. All the way shut. In my procedure, I'm required to leave it 15 minutes with zero drop. All of our pumps come with an equipped internal check valve which retains uh, black backflow pressure but I always recommend to close off isolation valve to extend the life of our pumps. So our 15 minutes are up and now we're going to relieve the pressure. Our first step is close your air supply and relieve the air pressure of your regulator. Next, open your isolation valve so you can relieve all the pressure that's in the test cart. Last but not least, open your return and bleed valve. In this case, we'll be returning back to the tank. In case of an emergency or an overpressure, just open the return and bleed valve all the way open and that'll relieve all the pressure internal and external of the pump. So we finalized the test on the custom car and everything is working properly. We have our standard models, but we can customize your test car to whatever your requirements are. Custom examples, dual pumps for high and low pressure or flows, analog or digital chart recorders, mini outputs, test manifolds, liquid reservoirs from five gallons to 22 gallons, safety pressure covers. Also, you can add extra check valves, pressure relief valves, stroke counters, digital gauges, and many more. For more options, questions, or prizes, visit us at hydrorex.com.